Tension is palpable in the European quarter in Brussels. The army and police still man the entrance to the underground stations. Fewer people than normal are traveling by metro. I'm afraid, that's all. I'm taking the metro now and I'm, it's absolutely fine with me, no problem whatsoever. I feel secure. For me, it's the first time I take this metro after one week and it was very hard. I just passed through Malbec and uh, it's very hard, it's very sad and uh, very difficult moments. The metro now stops again in the European quarter, but not at the next station on. 13 people died here in Melbeck when a suicide bomber detonated his vest in the train just after it pulled into the tunnel. Two other suicide bombers killed 19 people at Brussels airport. A search is now underway for a fourth accomplice, a man wearing a hat captured on CCTV at the airport. He was apparently unable to detonate his explosive device. The airport is still closed off, but within the building, investigations are largely complete. 800 staff have volunteered for test runs. If this goes smoothly, the international airport Saventum could reopen soon. It's the first step towards some kind of normality, though security will continue to be high when flight traffic resumes. Large traces of the highly explosive material, TATP, were found inside this house where the terrorists constructed their bombs. Neighbors say they had no idea what was going on inside. And like everyone else in Brussels, they would most like to forget the horrific events that took place in their city.